Yeah. Uh, uh, you did it. Wow, that was the coolest. I wish I could do that. We've locked Chana oh, away from the rest goodness. of the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that meant, yeah. Back to visit. The world is safe. <laughs> now they cannot trade with other countries. <laughs> nice. That was a real <laughs> tough choice, Sora. <laughs> But I think you made a responsible Goodbye, decision. <laughs> Chris, you're losing the international market. <laughs> the future is better off. What about a Lenny Chinese Kravitz? Jew? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that. oh, the rain was so wrong at the bank today. Oh, where is my allergy medicine? <laughs> I love these nuanced ass characters. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, I don't need to cough anymore. My day is started. That I know what I'm doing for the next pencil. 12 hours. Yeah. And I went to the doctor oh. and they were like, yeah, it's just a cyst. Did they suck it to check? No, it was a Chinese doctor who just like his equipment was like, there was like, d like doctor's office machines just jammed into the room. And then a, like yeah. a bucket of Magnum condoms. <laughs> and he was like, okay, you know, pull your pants down and uh, let me take a look. You know, he's like one of those like New York Chinese guys. Yep. And he's like, he's like, okay, yeah, I can definitely feel it. Uh, let me look at me right here. It's a cyst. Okay. You know, if it fucking gives you problems in the future, maybe you come back. We'll do ultrasound. But for this, it's a cyst. Don't worry. He's like, okay, let me check your prostate real quick. Just by feeling it around. Yeah, he just, he was like, it's fine. Dude, the Chinese nice. rock. If I was going to, that's why it must be okay to like, you know, because I figure over there you work in a factory for 10 years and you're 27. They're like, yeah, you have every type of cancer. But the, <laughs> the doctor's probably like, hey, sorry, slick, but hey, don't worry. Fuck it. That's life. And then you're like, yeah, I guess that is life. It is life. You <laughs> go to the factory. Easier, yeah, you just fucking you just be 12 a, hours a day, six days a week. Just be a Chinese guy. It's amazing mm -hmm. they don't have country music. In China? Yeah. yeah, they do. They have like their country music is that bing bong, yeah, the bing, fucked up Chinese yeah. guitar. That, that guitar I do thing. know that we've talked about. Yeah. Because I love talking about that. Bang bong ding bang. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be the clip that gets us canceled. <laughs> what? That's what this it is sounds our Madden like. Shane. Yeah. No, it definitely sounds mm -hmm. like that. Just a, chi bang, Chinese, that a Chinese guy, Chinese guy a Chinese guy named Johnny Cash only. And he's a he's a Chinese <laughs> Chinese country music musician. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh. yeah, I hurt myself today. Yeah, it's incredible. Have you yeah. seen that, that Chinese guy that does the Obama impression? No. Oh, it's great. He like oh, he does an Obama impression. He's famous in China for doing Obama impression, but he doesn't speak English. So he's just like, uh, okay, uh, barbecue sauce baseball. Uh, <laughs> Okay, good time. Okay, my dad. Your dad? Great. Sandwich. You know, <laughs> he just like speaks nonsense. Is he just a Chinese guy? Is he, yeah, he's he just, just a black at all? No. No, he sort of looks like Obama, but he like has the cadence. And but he's like, speaking like gibberish. gibberish. Yeah, that's awesome. I can't wait. We to should see book it. him on our on Funny Moms. Yeah. On our show. that's the funniest thing because like, <laughs> we should book him on this podcast. It's funny to do fake languages, but like to have somebody from another language, you know, another country do fake English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very funny. That's the best. Yeah, that's the best version possible. Yeah, dude, fucking soaking public bathrooms with your urine. That's like a <laughs> that's a classic move. That'll never stop being funny. I did that in this Chinese restaurant one time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I was like man, it's Me and my mom Went to dinner At this Chinese restaurant It's a nice little Chinese restaurant And we got an order Like takeout And I went into the bathroom And it was like A very nice bathroom And they had like You know nice wall Nice like paisley Pink yeah, wallpaper yeah, yeah. And I just started Pissing all over the walls I <laughs> just dying laughing I was just laughing So I pissed all over The mirror <laughs> <laughs> Suck the toilet paper. The toilet paper's the best yeah. one. To the leave funny, it on the roll but piss on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't think I got a drop of piss in the toilet. The I funniest just, part of that is you returning to the table. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, like. <laughs> the table, like leaving, and like as I leave the bathroom, the, she's like handing me the food. She's like, have a nice night. I'm like just crying, laughing. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> 
<laughs> knowing this bitch is about to walk in that bathroom and know exactly who did it. There's no mystery yeah, to no, that crime it's a, it's a fucking crime scene, dude. It was just piss all over the walls. And it was like soaking into the wallpaper. <laughs> Fuck, man. That's so mean. Yeah, I wish I had seen her face. Damn. Uh, Look how nice this looks. This Chinese guy in a field. That's the life I want. That is nice. Just be a rice farmer. Um, I thought that it, it's it's in water. Don't they grow rice in water? I don't know, man. I, should, I just want to be out in a field, just my Chinese mind empty of all thoughts, <laughs> waving my sword around in my what plants. What are they thinking? Uh, so, I want my head to be cut off by the cartel. I don't think... I hope not. I hope that By the cartel happen. or by ISIS? I don't know, but I feel like that would be a, a nice warrior's end. I'm out in my field. A decapitation. I'm out in my field, you know, doing dumb sword bullshit in the rice paddy. Mm-hmm. Remembering my days as a samurai and my dark warrior past. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then, you know, my son, who I have no emotional connection to, is like, Father, there are visitors at the gate. <laughs> and then I look over and it's the shogun. Shit. You know, and I'm like, mm. go inside. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your mother to lock the door. <laughs> I have to. I have one last thing I have to do. <laughs> and then they just cut my head off. Damn, yeah. you wouldn't fight back. You wouldn't go to the barn under the haystacks no, for your old, secret sword. I'm an old warrior, dog. Nah, you got to go out with the Live sword. Live by the hand. sword, die by the sword. You can't get. You got to take a guy out on your way out. It's no. got to be real hard to get a clean slice. You got to go two whacks at least yeah, with well, the sword. Samurais know how to do that, and they respect each other. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. Oh, I wouldn't you'd respect your executioner too much to try and kill him. Yeah, well, because I mean, I've killed this guy's entire family. I yeah. killed his brother. Yeah, it's you know, samurais brother. were all gay, right? Was that they was were pedophiles? Thing? They're pedophiles. But back then, they were. It was just called, you know, Ronin. R- respect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's called. I love Ronin children. <laughs> Ronin. That's what that show Ronin, Ronin Warriors Warriors boys about. in the ass. Yeah. I love Ronin brutal boys. Ronin the assholes. <laughs> Ronin. <laughs> Ronin their asses. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we do have to go. Nick's got a little uh, business to take care of. Yeah. Uh, and um, fuck, I wish I was a shogun. You will be someday, dude. Just drinking sake, waving my fucking blades around. <laughs> you know, isn't that reckless behavior from a shogun? No, nah, just uh, the shogun. I've got sake. I sit in my fucking temple or whatever. Mm-hmm. I've got my goons with me, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I have this boisterous exterior, but inside I'm tortured because Damn. I realize that life. Isn't as satisfying as I thought it would be. Wow! At the at the you know, and I'm like uh, I'm sort of like a King Solomon character. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, yes. I've acquired all this wisdom and gold. And all this and pussy, it's meaningless to me. Yeah. What I really want is to be out in the field, getting my getting my head cut off. The next thing I said, those Chinese dragons. Actually, they're like a, it's like just like twelve guys. Well, I think yeah. that's well known. Uh, yeah. Now. <laughs> Now <laughs> it's well known. So for a while you were People really scared. Of after them. after somebody got to the bottom of it by taking a peek to see if the dragon had a bigger dick than me. <laughs> and when I saw the inner machinations of... You're like, what the hell? It's 12 Chinese guys? It's fucking a bunch of There's Chinese no guys. There's no big green scaly cock? There's no dick. What the hell is what the this? Hell is this? This tastes like a regular this Chinese tastes- guy's dick. <laughs> This isn't a dragon's penis there's, at all. There's no fucking armored ball sack that I can fucking b- bounce up and down on. I'm trying to suck a big lizard's dick here, pal. <laughs> no, and, and all I got is eight Chinese guys to suck off. Oh. I could just do that any day. It doesn't have to be Chinese New Year for me to do that. Now I understand what are, the fireworks are about. Hey, S here with the 50. Do you remember the comment that was, uh, I think may, maybe it was last week, the guy who said he was moving to Europe? Um, for a girl, but the girl kind of bailed, uh, but he's still uh-huh. moving to Europe. Uh-huh. This is him. Mm. I am now in Europe, and that chick I moved here to marry to marry me is messaging me a bit. I live an hour from her. I don't want to time travel like you said, but I was planning mm. on marrying her in a few months. Knock that bitch out. This is Boom. mental hell. Just block her right now, okay? Let me give you a piece of... Let me give you a little... A treasure from ancient China. I've said this before. An ugly wife is a treasure in the home. Chinese proverb, 2,000 years old. You think they didn't know what they were talking about 2,000 years ago in China? Okay, translation. An ugly wife is a treasure in the home. 
what you want is you want a woman who picks you, okay? The woman picks the man. The man does not pick the woman. You're not in control of this ride, all right? She's the gatekeeper. She has the gate. It's her, her old wet pussy down there, okay? That's the gate. She's the gatekeeper. She picks who she's going to let in, and she picks who she's going to pair bond with. Uh, and if you're, think, if you're thinking about texting her, that's not you. Okay, you would know if it was you because she'd be aggressively trying to pull your pants down and claw at your face. Okay, they get in heat. When they get in heat, it's like a female tigress. Um, but in, in all seriousness, it is 100% the woman's... Uh, once, you've sh- once you've shown interest... And let it be known, it's entirely, the ball is in their court. And if they're wishy-washy, if they're not, uh, if they're not, you know, reciprocating, uh, it's not going to work. It will never work. You can't make it work. It doesn't matter if you're Don Juan, if you're fucking, you got monkey dick, okay? They're not going to, it's not going to last. Anything you try to, anything you try to force to make it work, it's not going to last.